The RSI can be a very choppy indicator and give us a lot of false signals, and it can be hard to read sometimes. Hi there, my name is Russ Horn, and I am going to show you how to smooth the RSI indicator so that we get fewer false signals and have an indicator that's just a lot easier to work with. Now, I've got the standard RSI on my chart. This is a 14 period RSI, and I've removed the minimum and maximum checks. That way the RSI fills the entire window. Uh, and what I'm gonna do at this point is start to smooth it out. And I'll show you how this is done. Now, first of all, this is really important. We're going to add a moving average to the RSI. But the only way that we can do that is through the navigator window. So I'm gonna click the navigator. And then from here, I will be looking at the indicators under the trend. I'm going to drag and drop the moving average onto the RSI. So with that being the case, what's really important here um, is where I'm going to apply it. First of all, let's go three period. We'll make it simple. I'm going to color it, say color it red. And then we're going to apply it to the previous indicators data. And if you don't do that, it's not gonna show up on the RSI, it's gonna show up on the chart itself. So with the previous indicators data selected, I'll hit okay. And now we can see we have a simple moving average of the RSI on top of the RSI. Now what I'm gonna do is double click on the RSI and the color for this is blue. I'm just going to click none. And then from here, we have a simple moving average of the RSI that is much cleaner, much smoother, much easier to interpret, and we are going to get a lot fewer signals. So however you're using the RSI, if you're looking at it for divergence, if you're looking at it for overbought and oversold conditions, if you're looking at it to cross the 50 level, with a smoother version of the RSI, you are going to get cleaner signals, that aren't going to reverse on you as quickly, you're going to get a truer sense of the direction the RSI is going. Now, I can double click on the moving average and I can change this to anything that I want. The three is a pretty nice setting. We can go something like five and get even smoother. The bigger that number, the smoother this RSI is going to be. Three is a great starting point. You may wanna try two even, but three is awesome. Five is also another good one, but the further away you get, the bigger the number, eight, 13, 21, things like this, the RSI becomes very, very smooth, but the downside for that are signals become more and more delayed. And that is going to be an issue uh, with really large numbers. By using something like a three, Simple moving average on the RSI, I find to be one of the cleanest, most efficient ways to trade a smoothed RSI. Try it out. Uh, if you're using the RSI in your trading, smooth it out and see what happens. Try it on a demo account for a little while and see if this is something that you like, if this is something that is worth your while.